don't like the movie When Harry Met Sally. Practically, I just don't think Harry in that movie is a very convincing person for the audience to want to see and in a loving relationship. Jar Jar Binks from the Star Wars prequels isn't as bad as everybody thinks he is. I think he's villainized for really no good reason. I think he's just sort of there, fine, not great, but I think people hate on him for no good reason. Matthew McConaughey's memoir is one of the best celebrity memoirs ever written. And I just want to clarify that if he does something terrible in the next few years, I take everything back. The Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies. I am a giant fan of Spider-Man. I wrote the review on Spider-Man last year, but I just, I don't like the Sam Raimi ones. I think they kind of get some stuff on Spider-Man wrong. Kat Stratford from 10 Things I Hate About You isn't the feminist icon we make her out to be. She dismisses when people call her privilege. She brings other girls down at the expense of bringing herself up. And she's also just straight up mean sometimes. The best Cinderella adaptation that has ever been made is the 2020 Nickelodeon TV movie Rags. It's the only gender bent Cinderella that I've ever seen. It is a interracial couple. It is fabulous original music. Rags stars Max Schneider and Kiki Palmer. Also Drake Bell, but we don't talk about him. Max Schneider plays Charlie and Charlie lives with his stepdad and stepbrothers and is just treated like crap. And he really wants to be a singer and make music and Kiki Palmer plays is Katie Worth, who is like this singer superstar, and she wants to write her own music. And they meet at a masquerade ball, and he drops his mixtape, and then they have to go on like this journey to find the singer named Rags that nobody knows who that is, and it's just fabulous. I, I really like The Last Jedi. I, it's like it's like a very like stereotypical controversial opinion, but I like The Last Jedi and I think a lot of people don't like The Last Jedi. I'm not a fan of John Green. Everyone likes The Fault in Our Stars because it's like a romantic book about two sick kids. And I wrote an article about that, about it's not a good take. Sorry, John Green, but I'm not sorry. Your work is unoriginal and it's weird. The way that you write girls is weird and I don't like it. Well, back to Jar Jar Banks. I think the prequel get way more hate than they deserve. They're colorful, they're fun to watch, they're good lightsaber duels, and if you ask me, the originals are like good, the sequels are like good, but the prequels are fun. Obi-Wan Kenobi, I think, Ewan McGregor really makes those, and I think that people just hate on them because they have high expectations and can't enjoy things made for wide audiences. A lot of the recent Marvel movies, I agree that they're not good, but people act like they're like the worst things known to man, and most of them are just kind of meh, and a lot of people get really upset about them. Um, I wrote about objectively bad dystopian novels and how they got me out of a reading slump, and I really love the Shatter Me series, and it gets a lot of hate and is called dumb by many people, but I think it's very good. I actually think Steve Rogers, as portrayed in the MCU, really sucks. He very stubborn and doesn't really see past his own worldview. In the third Captain America movie, he doesn't really take any time to understand the other side that he's like fighting. The other side being like his friends who are genuinely concerned about the consequences their own actions might have. When confronted with the consequences of his own sort of power, he's just like, nah, it's not my problem. Um, I think I'm gonna go with Dune. I fell asleep watching it and I don't regret it and I, I couldn't tell you what I missed because I feel like nothing happened in the whole movie so I feel like I didn't miss anything. I really don't like Dune. I, I like the movie. The movie was boring but I, I still liked it. But the book I think is really problematic in a lot of ways. Because it was written by like a cishet white man, it has a lot of problems in the ways it talks about and treats women and sort of like people of color. And then what's a movie that everyone hates that you love? Minions. I'm not even gonna give context.